This is a lesson on estimating products. So um, product, remember, is when you multiply. And then the product is your answer. So estimating products is very similar to estimating sums and estimating differences. So the, the first step in all of those is to round the larger number. And for the, this lesson, you'll round the larger number to the nearest multiple of 10. So it's going to end in a zero, and then there will be a number in the second place, in the tens place. Okay, once you've rounded the, just the largest number, not both numbers, um, then you multiply the rounded number by the smaller number, and then that's it. So it's, it's quite straightforward. Um, here's an example, though. So if I want to estimate 4 times 52, um, then I would think, so since 52 is a double-digit number, um, I will round that to the nearest multiple of 10. So <clears throat> I will think, look next door, 2 is 4 or less, so let the 5 rest. So 2 is 4 or less, so it does not bump the 5 up, it just le lets it be. And so we um, end up with 4 times 50 instead of 4 times 52. Okay, and then we just multiply 4 times 50. So I can think 4 times 5 first. 4 times 5, I've gotten that, I've got that written over here. So 4 times 5 is 20. And then there's still this 0 at the end of the 50 that we need to tack on to the end of our answer. Right? Because 40 or 4 times 50 is not 20. But 4 times 5 is 20, and then we put a 0 after to get the answer of 200. So an estimate of 4 times 52 would be 200. And I know that this is an underestimate. It's lower than the real answer because I round it down. Anytime I round down, my answer is going to be lower or an underestimate. Anytime I round up, my answer is going to be higher or an overestimate. Okay, so now you've got some practice. So we're going to do a number of practicing here. We've got four questions. So try the first three um, and then play the video to find the answers and then um, do this one after just to make sure you're on the right track. Okay, so pause now and do the questions. Okay, so first question says four times 64. So 7 is going to stay the same because it's the smaller number. So I will write 7 again, and then I've got 64 here. So I look at the 4. 4 is 4 or less, so I let the 6 rest. So I've got um, 7 times 60. So first I'll look at 7 times 6, and that is 42. Um, and then I'll put the zero on the end there. And there's my estimate for 420. Okay, and I would know that this is a um, an underestimate. It's lower because I rounded down. Now the next one, I've got 5 times 87. So I have a 5 here. And then... Um, I look at the 87, that's the larger number, so that's the one I'll route. And I look at the 7, and 7 is 5 or more, so I raise the score of 8 to 9. So now I've got 5 times 90. Um, and then I look at 5 times 9 first, that's 45. And then I put tack this 0 on to the end of the answer. And so my answer here is 450. And remember, this would be an overestimate. It's higher than the real answer because we round it up. Now we look over here. We've got 6 times 15. So 6 is the smaller number, so we write it again. And then we've got 15 here. So I look at the 5. 5 is 5 or more, so I raise the score of the 1 to 2. 5 turns into 0, so I've got 20. Then I've got 6 times 2 equals 12. Put this 0 on over to the end of the answer. And my estimate is 120. Now I, I rounded up from 15 to 20, so that means my answer is um, an overestimate. It's higher than what I 
we'll get if I actually multiply those two answers. Just a little extra information there. Okay, and if you haven't done the problem yet, then please pause and do that now. Um, and if you have done it, then let's do it together. We've got a Bombardier Challenger pl airplane holds 22 passengers. About how many passengers will eight of these planes hold? So think about this logically. We've got um, eight planes and, we, and we, have, we can hold 22 on each. So if I have a plane here, this is how some of us have trouble figuring out if it's multiplying or dividing. So if I have one plane with 22, and I want to know how many 8 will hold, that means I'm multiplying because I'm doing multiples of that. Right? I would not divide because that would tell me uh, something completely different. Okay? So we are looking for 22 times 8, but it says about here. So that means that we need to estimate. So I look at my larger number here and I need to round it. So the 2 here is 4 or less, so I let the number beside it rest. That 2 turns into a 0. And then 8 stays the same because it's smaller. Now I've got a much more net manageable number of 20 times 8. 8 times 2 is 16. I put that 0 on the end. Don't forget that because 20 times 8 would not be 16. Um, and then we've got 160 here. So that would mean that 8 Bombardier airplanes would hold about 160 passengers. Now this about needs to be included in my sentence that answers the problem because if I didn't then I would assume that it holds exactly 120 passengers. So we need to put the about to show that it is an estimate. So that is um, the lesson and your uh, textbook assignment is page 283 to 284, numbers 1 to 4 and 6. And remember you're estimating on all of them.